Hello everyone, this is Asghar Nazir. Today I will show you how to download and import Apache Poe jars in your project so that you can work with Excel files. To download the jars, open up any browser and type Apache Poe. And then click on this first link which is from poe.apache.org. Once you are on this page, you have to click on this link that says downloads so once you are on this page you will see two links uh, the first link is says at the end dot tgz it is for mac users and this dot zip one it's for windows user so this demo is specifically for windows users we will be making another video in which we will show you how to do that on mac as well so for windows let's click on this zip link and now you guys have to download these jars so now to download these jars you can click on this first link that says dot zip at the end and now let's wait for the download to complete so once the jars have been downloaded now we can find these jars they should be in your uh, downloads folder and if you are using any download you can also go inside your folder using that link so for example right now my jars have been downloaded inside the downloads folder now once you have these jars uh, you guys might see a different icon in here because i have installed a software called winrar that's why I see this icon. So it's fine if you see a different icon. Now you can right click on it and you can click on extract all. Or you can use any other software to extract the jars as you would do for any other zip file. So once the jars have been extracted, you guys will see this folder and in here you should see these files, uh, 13 of them. Now. The next step is to import these jars inside our IntelliJ. So now let's go to our IntelliJ and to import the jars, you have to click on file, then project structure and make sure guys you are on this modules option. So by default you guys might see this project uh, window but you should be on this modules and then you should see your project name in here and then you should be on this dependencies tab. So once you are on this tab depending upon the uh, version of ide that you are using you might see this plus icon in a different location so you have to find this plus icon and you have to click on that and then you have to select the first option now once you have selected this option it will ask you to uh, provide the path where you have downloaded and extracted your jars so i have downloaded my jars and download so i will go inside that folder and i will expand the folder that i have extracted it so now you will see other folders like lib you have to expand those as well and this oxml folder as well and now you have to select all the jars so right now i am holding down my shift button on my keyboard and pressing the down arrow so you have to do the same to select all the jars like this and then uh, make sure you are not selecting this dot zip all the files should have end on this dot jar extension and you have to click on ok and once we have uh, done that step click on apply and then press ok now to check if everything has been uh, downloaded and imported correctly we will create a simple file uh, a simple excel file and we will try to get some data from that file now if you guys do not have microsoft excel on your computers you can download this other software that is called wps and uh, it's uh, free and open source uh, they will or they will not be asking you for money and you can also do uh, these uh, excel demos with the wps as well so i will create a, a new excel file and make sure guys you are creating microsoft excel worksheet with the extension dot xlsx okay let's give it a simple name and let's open this excel file and let's store some data inside that file so let me say excel demo 
let me press control s and let me close this workbook now to read the data from this excel file we need the path of this excel file so to get the path on windows you can just click on this address bar and you can press control c and let's store this path inside a variable in our program so c users asgurnazi documents and downloads now we have to provide the name of the file as well so i called it test so this test test dot x l s x make sure you are putting the name uh, make sure the, there is no difference in terms of uppercase and lowercase letters so that you guys don't face any issue now once we have the uh, path we can now uh, create an object of file input stream i will explain later what are these file input streams and how we can use them so right now just just follow me so create an object of file input stream and obviously we need the new keyword and then you have to create an object of this x ssf workbook uh, class so let's create that as well so xsf workbook is equal to new xsf workbook and you have to pass your file input stream object inside this xsf workbook now once you do that you will be getting this error you have to just click on this class name that shows you error and then you will see this bulb icon you can click on that and you can select the first option that says add exception to method signature later on i will explain you what are these and uh, how should we use them now we have this object using this object we can retrieve the data from excel files so for example i can say um, sheet sheet is equal to xsf workbook dot get sheet and in here we have to specify the name of the sheet by default excel gives uh, the name sheet one uh, when we create a new uh, workbook i will now retrieve the first row so row row is equal to sheet dot get row and i will pass the index in here and once i have the row i can get the data from that row so row dot get cell and i pass zero in here now if you execute your program and you if you see the text that you have stored in your excel file that means everything is working perfectly fine and you are good to go uh, and if you guys see this error uh, you can ignore that as well so that's it for this video see you later bye bye